Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, claimed during the Democratic National Convention, DNC, that, we have more material related to the Hillary Clinton campaign. Staying true to their word, WikiLeaks, with one simple tweet, dropped another bomb on the Clinton campaign one so damaging it will almost surely be ignored by the mainstream media. The latest revelation by the whistleblower organization reveals Hillary Clinton was a director of, and received over $100,000 from, French industrial giant Lafarge, which was recently exposed as secretly sponsoring the Islamic State for profit. These latest revelations expose the deep relationship between Hillary Clinton and Lafarge a company proven to be working with and funding ISIS. The information was released one week after a statement made by WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, during an interview with Democracy Now!, implicated Clinton as being connected to arming terrorists. Hillary's hacked emails include info on Hillary arming jihadists, Assange said. Documents obtained by several journalistic investigations reveal that Lafarge has paid taxes to the terror group to operate its cement plant in Syria, and even bought ISIS oil for years. Lafarge also has close ties to Democrat presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Apart from being a regular donor to the Clinton Foundation, Clinton herself was a director of Lafarge in the early 1990s, and did legal work for the firm in the 1980s. During her connection to Lafarge, the firm was implicated in facilitating a CIA-backed covered arms export network to Saddam Hussein. Among its earliest benefactors was former First Lady and current presidential hopeful, Hillary Clinton. From 1990 to 1992, Clinton served on Lafarge's board of directors. Under her tenure, Lafarge's Ohio subsidiary was caught burning hazardous waste to fuel cement plants. Clinton defended the decision at the time. Then just before her husband, Bill Clinton, was elected president in 1992, Lafarge was fined $1.8 million by the Environmental Protection Agency for these pollution violations. Hillary Clinton had left the board of Lafarge in spring, just after her husband won the Democrat nomination. A year later, under Bill's presidency, the Clinton administration reduced Lafarge's EPA fine to less than $600,000. This type of quid pro quo is found to be common throughout the whole of the political apparatus in the U.S. However, it has become a specialty of the Clintons, a law the Clinton Foundation slash State Department pay for play schemes, which we highlighted in a recent article. The investigative report by the Canary goes on to reveal the nefarious nature of the Clinton slash Lafarge connection. In the late 1980s, According to an archived investigative report in the American Spectator, Hillary Clinton was connected to Lafarge when the firm was involved in facilitating CIA support for Saddam Hussein's secret weapons program. The American Spectator report from November 1996 cited sources confirming that Hillary Clinton did legal work for Lafarge in the late 1980s before she became a director. The report also claimed that Lafarge's U.S. subsidiary provided key services for the covered arms export network that supplied Saddam Hussein. To prevent exposure of that secret supply line, and collateral damage to Hillary Clinton who joined Lafarge board in 1990, just as the arms pipeline was being shut down, the Justice Department was told to bury the investigation. But investigators from other U.S. government agencies who worked on the case say they were waved off whenever they got too close to exposing the direct involvement of the intelligence community in the arms export scheme. Lafarge remains close to the Clintons to this day. In 2013, Lafarge's executive vice president for operations, Eric Olson, was a featured attendee at the Clinton Global Initiative's annual meeting. The company is a regular donor to the Clinton Foundation. The firm's up to $100,000 donation was listed in its annual donor list for 2015. Lafarge is also listed again as a donor to the Clinton Foundation for the first quarter of 2016. The dark reality of these connections to the Clinton apparatus should raise serious red flags, and must be brought to light for the American public to see. The American people have a right to see the types of activities that have been carried out by Hillary Clinton and her cronies. Since the mainstream corporate media refuses to provide a modicum of in-depth investigative coverage of the nefarious deeds undertaken by the Clintons, it is up to citizens on social media to help awaken the sleeping masses. Please share this critical information far and wide and help expose the depths of Hillary's corruption.